Hello, and welcome to my Honey's Crafts, and I'm Deborah. And I want to wish you all a Happy New Year 2021. I, I hope we all have a wonderful and blessed New Year. I hope and pray that it's better than last year. And we always need to stay positive and hope for the best. Okay, thank you. I'm coming on tonight, and I barely made it for CCAY 2021, and that's Crafting Christmas All Year 2021. And I realized when I was, this was my first Christmas crafting, and it was very stressful crafting and trying to do the other everyday stuff that you do uh, while the Christmas season is going on. So when I, I was finishing up these cards, I actually enjoyed it <laughs> because I wasn't stressed. I wasn't under pressure to complete it. So I'm going to be doing this CCAY 2021 for another 11 months and come on and show you my projects. And this is hosted by Paulette Fullard. That's her YouTube channel, Paulette Fullard. Happy Crafter, Lisa Goss, and Tasha's. They're adding another person to it. Just a minute, I need to set my timer. I wanna set my timer. Okay, and they're adding Tasha's Craft Corner, Tasha, to their, to their CCAY 2021. And anyone can join. You just have to use the hashtag CCAY 2021 in your title. And you must upload your video the first Saturday of the month and your projects must be Christmas themed and you must be 18 years or older. So this is my first installment for CCAY 2021. And I started these Christmas cards. I finished one set. I finished this set that I showed you on my sheet load of, of sheet load of cards with Call Me Crafty Al. And so I made these cards and I decorated them. Oh, that's getting bent. I decorated them on the inside. I didn't get a chance to decorate these other two, but I needed to show you my projects for this CC AY 2021 and I think you were supposed to use three three pattern papers and then just interchange them it has a scallop right here and three three gems so I went ahead I really liked that format so I went ahead and I created these and this is this card the sentiment is not pasted I don't think she pasted it I looked at her video several times and I put some gems right here I put one on the bell and one on the bow and I didn't, I didn't decorate the inside, but I'm going to do those. I'm going to do those tonight. So there's that one. I used these three sheets of paper. You can tell how they differ. I might paste these. I'm not, I'm not sure yet. But there's a, a gem right there and one there and one there. And that's how that looks. Here's another one. I'll show you the difference. These two are alike because I think you can only uh, 
interchange them three times. So this is this one is different. The wreaths are right there. I added this extra paper because it was just easier for me. See how these are different? I think I will paste this. The bells, the note paper, and the wreaths. I put two gems right here and one uh, on the bow. Oh, and this, this card goes with the other stack. Okay, and then I made these. I think these turned out so pretty. I just, I love this glittered paper back here. Let's see how it's glittery. I use this paper. And this is, uh, this is on mm, cardstock from Michael's when they had their sale, 110 pound. And this is, this was cardstock from a Tuesday morning. And the, the paper pad I used was Safe Freeze. I'll show, I'll show that to you in a minute. So I think I put my gems up here, some pink gems. And see how these two are different. This one says it's the most wonderful time of the year. I put my gems up here. I haven't decorated the inside of those, I will. And here's two gems right here. And one right there. This has the reindeer on the bottom. And these are kind of the same, but this has the reindeer on the bottom. Here's this one. I added an extra paper because it was hard for me to use just three sheets of paper. I couldn't change it up as much as I wanted. And there's the little scallop and the glittery paper right there and two gems right there. This one, I put the gems right here. It's the most wonderful time of the year. And I didn't like this paper right here, but once I put it on the card, I liked it. I said, I don't know what I'm gonna do with this paper and so I decided to use it on the card, and I really like it on the card. And then here's another one. And I have some more cards, but I just didn't have time to finish them all to show, to show them to you all. So the next installment, I'll show you the rest of my finished cards. And this is... And these are gems that I got from Cosmos Crafty Mom. The, these are from Hobby Lobby. And so the paper I used was this Safe Freeze paper. And that's gonna be one of my crafty goals. I'm gonna do a, a video on my crafty goals for this 2021. This is the Safe Freeze paper pad. And I haven't used it up. I, it has a lot of cut aparts. And I'm going to make some more Christmas cards with these. Well, this is Merry Christmas and Happy New Year. Okay, I'm going to make some more Christmas cards with these cut aparts. Because I really don't know, what, I don't know what to do with the cut aparts. And so you all have seen this paper before. I like it. It has a vintage feel to it. I just love this. Oh, I love this paper. I don't know what I'm going to do with that. But, so yeah, I'm going to try and finish up a paper pad. That's going to be one of my crafty goals, is try and finish up a paper pad. Since I've started crafting, I've never finished a paper pad before. And so anyway, there's my there are my three cards for 
the CCAY 2021. I'll have the ladies uh, channels linked down below. You can go on Instagram too and, and post on Instagram. Just use the hashtag CCAY 2021. I'm, I'm already subscribed to two of the ladies, to Tasha Craft Corner and Paulette Fullard. I'm new to Happy Crafter, Lisa Goss. But um, I want to get to know her. And I subscribe to her channel. And she created some pretty cards. She created some beautiful cards for her CCAY. And so I hope I hope you like what I've created. If you do, please give me a thumbs up. Like, subscribe, and share. And I appreciate all of your comments. Thank you to all of my positive and returning subscribers. And thank you for my new subscribers. I really do appreciate that. Always remember to be kind. Stay positive and be a blessing to others. Bye for now.